Hey guys, Kyle here. Hey, let's do a quick video on uh, when to use the rudder. Um, when do we use the rudder when flying remote control airplanes? We, we want to use a rudder for takeoff roll, okay, keeping directional control on the runway, okay? When you're coming into land, you'll use your rudder if you have a crosswind to help center, keep that airplane centered um, on the center line or on the runway. Um, we use the rudder in aerobatics and um, the rudder can be used for coordinating a turn. However, when it comes to remote control airplanes, I don't do this very often. Um, you're going to use the rudder a little bit more if you're in a competition or you're, you're really trying to do some real smooth maneuver. Um, but for the most part, for most, most of us, especially if you are newer, you don't use the rudder very often. You steer the airplane with your ailerons. And um, so in a real airplane, the stick, say in a Cub, the stick is your right hand stick, right? On your transmitter, okay? That's your main stick. That's how you're gonna fly, okay? That's your, your ailerons. So, you don't need to coordinate turns very often in most of the airplanes. Some of the larger airplanes, it's a little better to use some coordination. But for the most part, use ailerons to steer your airplane, okay? <clears throat> Now, can you use the rudder to steer your airplane? Yeah, you can. It's fine. Um, especially with the gyro. There's a lot of guys with gyros using the rudder. The gyro keeps the airplane level, so you can rudder that thing around all you want, and it'll fly just fine on the rudder. But what are you doing when you're steering with the rudder? The airplane's doing this. Okay? When you bank an airplane with the ailerons, it does this. Okay? Roll. This is roll. Rudder is yaw. So when I see some of you guys with gyros out there flying with rudder, what you're doing is you're skidding the airplane around. It's skidding through a turn. And it's just not, it just doesn't look good. It's just not pretty, okay? It's not what the airplane is designed to do. Throw in some ailerons, bank that airplane. If you have to use some rudder, use a little bit of rudder at the same time, but I'm telling you, you really don't in most of these airplanes. Use your ailerons, bank it, pull a little elevator to, to really tighten it up and get it coming, get it coming at you. But please don't fly around all day with the rudder. It's just not, it's just not what the airplane was designed to do. Coming in, if you have a crosswind, an airplane's going to, you, you'll have a bank going when you're coming in to land, maybe, and you're flaring. You want to level that bank off. Well, the, the wind is going to push you to the side, right? So you can use your rudder to to use to yaw your airplane to keep it straight to go down the center of the runway. That's why we use a little bit of rudder when we're landing. Um, when you get better at it, uh, you start using a little bit more rudder on landing. If you're a total newbie, you may not be using the rudder very much on landing, and that's fine. You can get it done without it. But as you progress, you'll use a little bit of rudder, um, a little bit more rudder for uh, for landing. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Just a real quick, uh, real quick video on uh, on when to use the rudder. Thanks, guys.